Daniel Mensa. How are you doing tonight? I'm wonderful, Joanne. Thank you for asking. And how are you doing yourself? I'm good. Well, actually, also at the famous Nectar in uh, Silver Spring. I believe the place was redone and uh, beautiful music for the night, don't you think? Well, yeah. I mean, this is actually my uh, second time here, and it's quite a very wonderful venue. And uh, I think I love to have more fun here every chance I get. Okay. Well, um, not to waste your time. Uh, thank you for stopping by and um, coming and standing with Info Nollywood for the night. I just have a few questions to ask you. Okay, so I know you just finished a movie called It's Complicated. Okay. And um, I believe you had some also famous people in the movie with you? Oh, yeah. Um, that was a, basically an all-star team uh, cast, actually, of um, actors and actresses. We had uh, Olu Jacob, one of the pioneers in the game, Mama G, a.k.a. Well, Patient Ozoko, a.k.a. Mama G, another pioneer in the game. And, of course, um, somebody that I consider a big brother, Yemi Black. You know, the talented Yemi Black and the Australian man of Mensa, you know, and um, other, other very uh, talented uh, individuals were all in that movie, Complicated, correct. And what is the movie? Tell me a little bit what the movie is about. Well, the movie actually uh, captured the day-to-day -day, uh, situation that currently going on in Nigeria with the Boko Haram and so forth. Now, what it entails is... Um, it. It tells of the conspiracy and, and, and the, the, the you know the, the violence going on by suicide bombers and how um, a team of uh, well well trained experts, undercover agents, were able to infiltrate to 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 find the source as to where and why this was going on and who you know was behind it all. And for anybody that's interested in seeing the movie, how are they able to, I guess, go and look at it? Or is there going to be DVDs out? Is the DVD out yet? Um, I believe the DVD work, it will take about a year before the DVD come out. But as far as um, the promotional aspect of it in theaters and so forth, it's being worked on. As I speak with you, the director, Alex Mount, is currently in in Netherlands, I believe, or London, one of the above. Uh, please don't put me on it. Um, he's actually working on, you know, some very strong footage of the film. So we're, we're all waiting to see how it will turn out. Well, we're looking forward to seeing that movie when it comes out. Also, I know you've also been very busy in your life. Um, I believe uh, you are also the face of an energy drink in uh, Nigeria called the Prince. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Prince Energy Drink. Uh, actually, um, Manufactured in the same exact order as Red Bull, just packaged differently. Same place, same company that makes Red Bull. So what uh, this brilliant Nigerian um, entrepreneur did was made one of the best packaging. Um, and now it's one of the, the hottest drink going on in Nigeria right now. And we're trying to extend it beyond that. So yeah, I happen to be the face of that drink. Not only the face, but also the promoter for the drink. So, yeah. Very impressive. I mean, where's my drink? You know, you are uh, talking about it. I guess I have to go to Nigeria to get my drink. <laughs> also, I also believe that um, there's also very other things going on in your life. Um, are you married? Getting married? I think um, I hear wedding bells. I just wanted to know a little bit. Yes, actually, I'm, uh, I got engaged to a very beautiful um, lady. Elizabeth Ories is her name, and um, yeah, we uh, the wedding date is set for December 19th. So, and that will be in Lagos, and um, yeah, it's gonna it's a uh, invitation only, and the who's of who's of Nigeria and uh, the entertainment industry will be there, and I'm very excited, you know, to to be taking that kind of step in my life, you know, because uh, she's a very wonderful woman and she made a change in my life. So yeah, you know. Well, I, I just give thanks to God and uh, for blessing me with such a wonderful person. Speaking of your life, I know there's a lot of people that have always had questions about your origins. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Like, some people are like, is he Nigerian? Is he Sierra Leone? Like, they want to know where you're from. So can you tell me a little bit, just give a little aspect of where you're coming from? Thank you for bringing that up because every newspaper 
that I've uh, had an interview with, I always remember saying in Liberia, by the end of the day, by the time they do editing, eh, I end up coming from Ghana. Ghana is a wonderful place. During the war, Ghana took me in. I love Ghana. The name Metsa is my you know, grandfather's name who adopted my father. And um, so we bear that name, Mensa. Okay. However, I, I'm originally from Liberia. Liberia, West Africa, Liberia, all right? And I see where the confusion would be with the name, but I'm from Liberia. That's where I'm from. I'm proud to be a Liberian. I love Ghana, like I said. I lived in Ghana. I love Nigeria. Nigeria was the first country to take me in. I spent three years in Nigeria before I left to come to the States. I made some wonderful friends, met some permanent people, that are still influential in my life today. So yeah, uh, that's why I'm able to, because of my, my experience in, uh, and where I've lived, all, all of that has impacted me, my life, seriously, tremendously. So I speak French, I speak the Nigerian pidgin, but none of the dialects. Um, I uh, speak a little bit of the Ghanaian accent. So you know, I see where people get confused. I have went to school partially in Sierra Leone, because I was a very stubborn kid growing up, so the thought certainly would be a best place. Um, so, you know, I grew up uh, in a part of Sierra Leone known as Masanke, and that's an area where most of the prisoners tend to pump, pump trees and stuff. So, all of that has impacted my life, but originally I'm born and read in Liberia. Okay, well, there you have it. Now we can all put the speculations aside and know that he is a born Liberian, but also a melting pot. Obviously, he speaks so many different languages. But um, um, I know that you're going back soon. You're going back to Nigeria in the near future. And also, um, what is coming up for the future? Like, what do you have plans, your upcoming plans? Well, right now, I love the movie industry as it is. Um, but uh, I, I am venturing into what I have always known, which is uh, business. I've always been a businessman first. So my new venture, I can't say now, but will be seen in the near future. And uh, thank you for sitting with us, Mr. Emmanuel Mensa. Thank you again for stopping by at Nectar. And also don't forget to check us out and check his new movie, It's Complicated. It's gonna be a good movie. It should be coming on theaters anytime soon. Go to www.infonollywood.com. Again, my name is Joanne. And just go and press like. And of course, it's always a pleasure to have us.